about women, men, children, being able to speak up, speak out once something horrific like this happens to you. Don't keep it a secret. The first person I told was my daughter. I didn't want that to happen to her. And my daughter's like, Mom, you need to say something. And trust me, it was not easy. And there are a lot of people who will be affected, my family, his family. I mean, this is not something that I take lightly. They had the misfortune to meet a man that they admired and thought that they could trust, Bill Cosby. It, it took me this long to say something because the, the burden of saying something has a huge effect on a lot of lives. It was the summer of 1976. I was barely 20 years old. Here I am, 38 years later, finally telling my story. Even to this day, I am still ashamed that I went into shock. I thought, who would believe me? First we cry, and then we fight. They go from the tears, then to become survivors, and then to become fighters for change. It took 39 women to come forward before I was ready to share my experience. I hope that by being added as the next number, someone else decides to regain her power and use her voice. Women kept speaking out, and this has made the difference, and this is why I give this enormous amount of credit to these very courageous women. They've done it at great risk to themselves, made a lot of sacrifices, and they have done it anyway. They refuse to be silenced anymore. Bill Cosby made me a victim, but every victim that Bill Cosby assaulted who has been called a whore and a liar has helped me to become a survivor. How many women does it take against the word and the denial of one rich, powerful, famous, formerly well-respected man?